This video is closed captioned in English and Spanish subtitles. Hello, travelers. Welcome, everybody. This is Anthony, also known as the Travel Droner. Here on this channel, we create videos discussing amazing travel facts and amazing destinations. Join us on our journey around the world by subscribing to our channel. Please click the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new video. In today's video, we are going to talk about what not to do in an all-inclusive resort. After working in the hotel industry in the Caribbean and Mexico for over 15 years in all kinds of hotels, from all-inclusive three-star resorts to high upscale five-star luxury hotels, where everything is a la carte, since I could use all the hotel facilities for free, I made good use of it. So I am very well aware of the ins and outs of living long-term in a hotel. I have made up a list of the most important don'ts of an all-inclusive resort, what to do and what not to do, and what to bring with you for an all-inclusive hotel vacation in Cancun, Mexico, or anywhere in the world. Those rules apply for every all-inclusive hotel resort in the world. Number one, dress code for restaurants and specialty restaurants or any other facility inside the hotel. Please don't pack only swim gear, beach clothes, and only casual. Please be advised every hotel has a dress code. What you need to respect if you want to eat in specialty restaurants or even the lunch buffet, you will have to wear long pants, shirt, shoes, etc. You cannot walk in with a bathing suit and sandals direct from the beach. Same applies if you take a trip outside the hotel. Visiting downtown or any other local spot, dress decent and accordingly to the situation and traditions of the city. Don't go in your Speedo bathing suit or bikini to the markets for shopping souvenirs or even strolling around half naked outside from the beach. At night, you are going to have to dress more formal or the very least smart casual. So bring your clothes with you accordingly to your hotel's dress code listed on their website. Check it before you start your journey. You do not want to miss out on the different activities offered by the hotel requesting a dress code for them. Number two, losing your wristband. When you arrive at the resort, you'll be given a wristband made out of plastic. In the cheap hotels chains, the expensive ones use more environmentally friendly materials. This wristband will identify you to other hotel employees. The meal plan you have purchased, be it all inclusive or any other plan, it will allow you to use everything such as drinks, food, sports activities without having to carry your wallet with you and pay for everything. It is already paid for and the wristband is the proof of it. So if you lose it by accident or you cut it off, be prepared to pay for the daily all-inclusive rate for at least one day when you are going to get a new one from the hotel reception. Since anyone who has it can use all hotel facilities and consume everything there. So the hotel will charge you for that. Be advised. Number three, transportation from airport to hotel. It is very important you make upfront arrangements with your hotel for your transfer to your resort. You do not want to get caught up at the airport with the taxi scammers and overpriced transportation services offered at any airport in the world. It is the same scenario everywhere. Local hustlers try to take advantage of new tourists not familiar with the prices. Call the hotel to ask what kind of transportation they will provide for you. If it is a shared one with other travelers being collected and dropped off at their hotels, or is it hotel-owned transportation that only picks up their own hotel guests? So you are prepared for the ride also. Ask how long will it take to get to the resort from the airport with their shuttle. Number four, reservations for resort specialty restaurants on site. Make sure if you want to enjoy any of the specialty restaurants offered in an all-inclusive resort, you'll have to make reservations early on. The best is on arrival at the front desk while checking in. Ask for what days and hours are available for all restaurants. And I would reserve everything right there. You'll be limited to one to two times per week to use them. Some have a surge charge. Others are paid only not included in your package. It all depends on what star rating your all-inclusive resort has. Be aware that you need to use the dress code required for each specialty restaurant. The fancier it is, the more formal you will need to dress up for it. Number five, all-inclusive buffet food and drinks. The rule of thumb here is only using the live cooking stations like meat and fish station, 
pizza and pasta station, which all is prepared to order. Rest of the buffet is mostly recycled, and you might find your breakfast potatoes in another lunch dish mixed in or your lunch vegetables mixed into your dinner salad or any other combination. The food and beverage manager of a three-star all-inclusive restaurant has a budget of around 5 to $8 per day. Per person, prepare three main dishes and keep all the basic food running like burgers, hot dogs, pizza, and all drinks that is not a lot to keep up. Good quality food or alcohol quality. Now, with the pandemic going on, things changed a little. Now the buffet has everything packed in individual portions. They use single-use plates and utensils. Other hotel chains have opted to serve you directly the food you choose from the buffet. No contact rules and safe distancing is a must nowadays, and others have moved to a la carte and eliminated the buffet altogether. When it comes to drinks, the same concept applies. They use the cheapest liquor possible to save costs. My tip is be specific when ordering something. Order the brand name like Bacardi and Coca-Cola, then you get the original. If you order a rum and Coke, you get served cheap alcohol from the big generic bottle where the label says rum and has no brand name. Number six, don't forget to bring your sunscreen and use it every time you go out. Also bring your mosquito repellent and your medicines and all you need during your stay at the resort. The resort has many stores inside. You can get almost everything, but all are overpriced. Here is an example, $5 sunscreen from back home. You could cost you $30 to $50 in the hotel shop, depending on how fancy your resort is. My advice is, if you forget something back home, go out, leave the resort, and buy all you need in a local supermarket where the prices are in local currency and everything is cheaper. Then in your hotel, look up what is nearby by searching online on your phone. Number seven, don't assume everything is included. Be careful. All-inclusive does not mean that premium wine, alcohol, lobster, exotic steak, or fancy dishes at certain restaurants are included and are only at a surge charge that are only available at some restaurants or cafes. This might be outside of your all-inclusive plan, so make sure you understand what you have purchased in your hotel package. Most hotels offer an upgrade from basic all-inclusive to a premium all-inclusive package where most will be included. Motorized water sports like jet skis, diving tours are not included, so take enough money for entertainment with you. Number eight, do not leave valuables outside of the room, safe or hotel reception safe. Always keep your room locked in anything valuable, such as money, jewelry, passports, or credit cards. Keep it stashed away or locked up. Never flash around your fancy camera or watch your phone. Do not create opportunities for the thieves to make you a victim and leave a bad taste in your all-inclusive vacation or even ruin it completely for you and your family. So think twice before leaving your phone with earbuds on the beach towel. Visible for everyone walking by on the beach while you go for a swim. That is a bad idea. Always keep your eyes on your belongings. Yes, even inside a hotel. Number nine, do not assume tips are included. Don't forget to bring a lot of small bills to tip often. Everyone is working and helping you to have a wonderful time while staying at the resort from the room keeper to the waiter on your buffet or the barman at the pool bar, which will probably get you some premium drinks once you are friends with him. Remember, the hotel employees are paid minimum wages under not so good working conditions for long hours, six days a week. It is very hard to do that job and always keeping a smile on the face for everyone. So please be respectful and polite to everyone you have contact with while on your all-inclusive vacation. Number 10, don't stay only at the resort your whole trip. That is boring. You will not get a good idea of the country or what it is like to be a local here. Go out, explore, and enjoy the local culture. Take a local bus and drive into town. Explore the local markets, local restaurants, local entertainment. Try to learn some words of the local language. Stroll along with the local shops in the downtown area or buy a tour and go explore the surroundings your destination has to offer. We hope you enjoyed this video. What country would you like to visit on an all-inclusive vacation? Let us know in the comment section below the video. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you will be the first to know when we publish a new video. Thanks for watching.